Hey guys, welcome back to Downtown Crown Wine and Beers Feature of the Week. I'm Arash, this is Dave. Today we're going to be talking about wine, and particularly Malbec. Most of you guys have probably had Malbec from Argentina since it's all over the place, but Malbec actually originally is from France. So today we're going to talk about the similarities and the differences between the two regions. Yep, so uh, uh, Malbec is actually one of the original uh, five noble grapes of Bordeaux. Uh, it's not uh, too commonly used anymore in that, in that particular region of France, but where it is seen is in, a, is in the uh, southwestern region of France called Cahors. So if you uh, are ever shopping for a bottle of wine and you pick up a label and you see Cahors on the label, that means that the wine uh, will be at least 70% and in a lot of cases 100% uh, Malbec. So um, why don't we talk about some of the similarities between the two first. So the similarities are, uh, they're both very fruit forward, so red fruit, black fruit. Right off the bat, you're going to get a ton of fruit flavor, uh, more than like, you know, most other wines out there, mm -hmm. just a fruit, not a fruit bomb, but just fruit. Big plush soft fruit up right. front. But the difference is, is, and one of the main differences, old world style versus new world style. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the 50s, uh, a frost kind of wiped out all the Malbec in France, and they regrew those in the 70s. But in between that time, um, a French uh, settler went into Argentina and introduced Malbec grape to the region of Mendoza. Mm -hmm. And in Mendoza, it's very dry climate with cool nights high altitude high altitude and in particular a winemaker called named Nicholas Catena which you guys may have well known as Catena wines mm -hmm. actually uh, revolutionized Malbec in Argentina started making really nice yep. uh, easy drinking fruit forward approachable wine put Malbec on the map for right. Argentina so from there a lot of winemakers from California uh, in particular Paul Hobbs and some from France in particular Rothschild big names in the wine world mm -hmm. went down to went down to Argentina and started producing collaborations with these winemakers and then through their big distribution network uh, you, that's when you started to see Malbec sort of blow up and become available everywhere so we talked about the similarities between the two fruit forward mm -hmm. now the difference is after the fruit first first taste and uh, you know fruit forwardness on your nose there's big differences Cahors is more rustic with big chewy tannins mm -hmm. uh, something like very earthy drier style drier style so mm -hmm. more gamey meats like and in Cahors in particular they are really well known for their truffles mm -hmm. um, I heard truffles with Cahors Malbec is like a magical pairing so I haven't had the opportunity to try that but we got to do that someday yeah. uh, and also duck gamey meats, pork, uh, whereas Malbec, you want lean red meats, white white meat even, um, you know, uh, just any kind of meat almost, like, will yeah. go well with it. That's what Argentina. they eat in Argentina. Yeah, so why don't we uh, give these a shot? So this particular is uh, Bodega La Flor. It's made with Paul Hobbs, a winemaker that made his name, made his name. in California, came down to Argentina because of the value in the cheap land. So this is gonna be, let's take the smart first. You get that red fruit right off the bat. Like it's just mm -hmm. really almost jammy yep. on the nose. Mm. Very approachable wine. The tannins don't last, there's very, not many tannins in there, so it doesn't last as long. So that's a, another distinct difference between old world France yep. and new world Argentina. This wine can hold up by itself. You know, you drink yeah, you it can drink food. it by itself without food. Yep. Now the cores, you still get that red and black fruit on the nose, but I know once I taste it, it's going to be really different. Certainly, a, a slightly more rustic nose to it. No, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Big I, know, I know this is what you like. This is your yeah. kind of wine. Yep. Um, so this one, you're going to get that red, again, that red fruit right off the bat, but really chewy tannins that are going to last a long time. So this is, if you like more old world style, definitely go with Cahors. And if you like more new world style, definitely go with Argentina. But at the end of the day, don't be, don't be intimidated by this French label that doesn't, usually doesn't have Malbec on it. It just yep. says Cahors. So to uh, finish up, guys, like Malbec from... Cahors means Malbec in France, and of course, our favorite, one of our favorite wines, the best-selling wines, Argentina Malbec, is very easy drinking and approachable, good for a party or anything else like that. Yeah, certainly. Cool. Cheers. Cheers, guys.